good day. We'll discuss now measures of other locations. So we're done discussing measures of central tendency. So we measure where is the center or where most of the data is centralized. Next, we have the measures of dispersion. It measures how close or far are the data from each I from each other. So if the value is small, then meaning they are homogeneous or somewhat closer to each other. And if the value is high, then of course the values are far from each other, so heterogeneous. Now we'll have to discuss these measures of other location. We have two types again, the ungrouped data and for the group data. Now for the ungrouped data, I already have a video for this one, so I'll just uh, share with you that one on the comment section below. And now I'll be concentrating on the group data. Now for the group data, we'll be needing, needing an FDT or the frequency distribution table. Now actually for these three measures of other location, the percentile, decile, and quartile, the formulas are based on the median. Okay, the formulas are based on the median. So if you can still remember, this is the formula of the median. So the only one that changes is this one. Since this is median, so we we'll need to compute for the middle. So that, that is why we have n over 2. Percentile is, of course, 100. Now the maximum is 100%, so that's why we have over 100. For the decile, that's over 10. And for the quartile, that's over 4. Okay, so now the process of finding the percentile, decile, and quartile, of course, is just similar to finding the median okay median meaning it's the center it's the middle so meaning when we talk about percentile it's the 50 percent so the median is the 50 percent okay by the way with when we talk about percentile we have now we are dividing okay say for example this slide into 100 pieces okay so that is why percent. When we talk about decile, we're dividing that line 10 times or 10 divisions. I mean 10 divisions because it's deck. Quartile means 4. So dividing the line into 4 parts. 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So meaning the 50th, uh, the median. Okay, median is equal to the p50 percent the decile the tenth decile and the second quartile okay by, by the way this is fifth percent fifth percent or fifth decile i mean fifth decile now because 100 divided by 2 is 50 10 divided by 2 is 5 4 divided by 2 is 2 so please don't forget about this now for p75 75 75th percentile is equal to q3 because in quartile we divided the 100 percent by 25 so 25 25 25 25 so take note this is the first so 325 so that is 75 percent so this is now q1 q2 and q3 that is why p75 is equal to q3 okay now so let's use these formulas in finding this decile quartile and percentile so we'll be using one fdt Okay, so now let's start first with decile. So if you notice, we have this form. Uh, we have this uh, step in first finding the location of our decile. So D three. So our K is three. So substituting to this formula. So three times thirty five divided by ten because this is decile. So we have ten point five. Okay, and similar strategy for the median. After finding this one, we must look at the nearest uh, commutative frequency, frequency, which is nearest and greater than the, the 
So the nearest is 11. So meaning this is now our concentration. So the location of our uh, decile is in this part, in this class interval. Third decile. So this is third decile. So this one is the lower limit or the lower class boundary. So we have 59.5. The class interval or class width, I mean, is 55 minus 50 is 5. Then just copy this, 3 times 35 over 10. Minus the frequency before, cumulative frequency before is 6. And then the frequency of the interval, which is 5. Okay, using your calculator, you will arrive at the answer 64. Okay, next, 6th decile, so we have now 6 times 35 over 10. Take note, it's 35 because our n is 35. So we have 21. So we have an exactly 21 here, exact CF. So this is now our concentration. The location of 6th decile is somewhere here. So we have 64.5, the lower class boundary, plus again, the width is 5. And copy this, 6 times 35 over 10, minus this time the frequency before is 11. And then divided by the frequency of this location, so 10. So using your calculator, you will arrive at 69.5. Okay, next we have the ninth decile. So again, substitute 9 as our k times n35 divided by so it's 31.5 so the highest here which is less than or equal to uh, greater than 31.5 the nearest is 35 okay so this is our concentration so this is the location of our ninth decile so the lower class boundary is 974.5 plus again the class width is 5 and then copy this here Minus 30, the cumulative frequency before, and then the frequency. So using your calculator, you will arrive at 76. Okay, now let's go to the first quartile. So now it's over 4 because it will now dividing the whole into 4 parts, quartile. So our K now is 1. So 1 times 35 over 4 is 8.75. So meaning, this is our CF. So this is now our location of the first quartile. So the class boundary, lower class boundary is 59.5. The class width is again 5. And then copy it here. This is 8.75 minus the frequency, community frequency before, which is 6. And then the frequency. So we have now 62.25. Next, second quartile. So this is 2. So 2 over 4 is 1 half. 1 half of 35 is 17.5. So that is why we have this as our location of the uh, second quartile. So 21. So the lower class boundary is 64.5. The class width is again 5. And then we have this, the k times n over 4. Now this time it's minus 11, the cumulative frequency before, and then the cumul and then the frequency, which is 10. Okay. Using your calculator, you will get 67.75. Next, the third quartile. So 3 times 35 over 4 is 26.25. So the nearest is 30, which is greater than 26.25, the nearest is 30. So this is the location of our third quartile. So the lower class boundary is 69.5. Again, the class in, uh, width is 5. Then copy the 3 times 35 over 4 minus the cumulative frequency before divided by the frequency. So using your calculator, you will get 72.42. Now let's go to percentile. Now we're asked to find the 25th percentile. 
Now, take note that the 25th percentile is equal to the first quartile because 100% divided by 4 is 25, so 25%. So these two are the same. And from the previous computation, this is 62.25. Now, if you want to use the formulas, you will also get 62.25. Now, following the steps, so uh, 25 times 35 over 100, because we're now at the percentile, so we'll get 8.75. Okay, so meaning this is now our... CF, so this is the location. This is the location of our 25th percentile. The lowest class boundary is 59.5. Again, the class width is 5. Then we have this, 8.75. Minus, the previous is 6. Divided by, the current, which is 5. Frequency. So, using your calculator, again, you have 62.25. So, if you notice, they are just the same. Next is 80th percentile. So substitute here, you will get 28. So obviously we have 30 as our CF. Okay, so this class interval. So the lower class boundary is 69.5 plus this expression. So the class width is 5 times this. Just copy it here. Minus 21 because that's the commutative frequency before our location and then divided by 9 so the result is 73.39 and last we have the 75th percentile so it's the equivalent to the third quartile so based on our previous uh, illustration or example, we have the 75th percentile is equivalent to 72.42. So I guess we have still the last one. So this is the last one. So this is the 40th percentile. So substitute 40 times 35 divided by 100. It's 14. So go back to the CF. So we have 21. Okay, so this time... Uh, the nearest, no? okay, so we mean how here is the nearest, the greater than your 14, but the nearest. So we have 21, 30, and 35, the nearest is 21. So the lower class boundary is 64.5 plus the class width is 5 times this expression, which is this one, minus the commutative frequency before, which is 11, and then the frequency, which is 10. You use your calculator, you get 66. Okay, so thank you for listening.